Hi, my name's Liam. I've been playing tennis for 10 years and I'm an energetic all court player. My name's Austin. I've been playing tennis for 15 years and I like to try and finish the point at the net. Hi, I'm Sue and I've been playing tennis for 30 years and I like grinding it out on the baseline. Yeah, really nice and manoeuvrable. Um, easy on the power, easy on the control, easy on the spin, bit of everything really, I liked it. Pretty easy to hit through the ball on sort of anywhere, any, anywhere on the court really. Yeah, it was an overall decent experience, it didn't, didn't blow me away at all. Sort of in the middle of the ground, I didn't really create that, couldn't really create that much power with the ball. I had decent control, but overall it wasn't um, too special either way. When I was out of position, sometimes I would struggle to get the power that I needed. I felt like I had to have quite a big swing. I think that might be just because the racket felt a little bit light in my hand. I felt like I had to swing quite hard to create power, which sort of threw my timing off a little bit. I've just had a great time hitting with this. It feels really lively, very light, lots of spin. Uh, very manoeuvrable around the court, just yeah, really good fun to hit with. It felt like it moved through the air, so it didn't take too much effort to get it going. Um, and so I could still put spin on it, even though I was on the move. Yeah, it's good. I felt like I could really hit my volleys nice and out, and, uh, out in front of me, which gave me a good connection. And I actually timed the volleys much better than the ground strokes. I felt like the volleys was quite nice, it easy to hit my spots and yeah, get good depth on them, which is always nice. Struggled to get the power that I like to get on the smash. It didn't really give me anything. I felt like I had to really try and hit it to create the pace of this racket. It didn't really uh, help me out with the power at all. Yeah, the racket seemed to, even though it feels a little bit lighter in your hand, it still felt like it was solid behind the ball, I would say. It didn't feel like it was pushing back or anything. Maybe because the weight just a little bit more flimsy, but I didn't really notice it too much. It was still nice and solid than that, and especially on the smashes, easy power, not too much to swing. So yeah, enjoyed it on that as well. So I would say it didn't feel quite so powerful. It felt like I had to put a bit more effort in. It just doesn't feel quite so head heavy. Serving, yeah, really easy again to generate the power. Um, but when I hit the sweet spot, it was coming off really big. I think even if I wasn't quite hitting it right in the middle, it was still nice and forgiving. Yeah, similar story with the serve, really. It didn't really help me create too much power. I felt like I had to really go for it to create the power that I wanted. Same with this top spin, I had to really uh, like, try and get the spin uh, just to get, yeah, to get the spin at all. I had to really put the effort in. Yeah, certainly. Um, Again, even if I'm not hanging in the middle, I feel like it's a really solid connection with the ball. Um, didn't feel any sort of vibrations when I maybe mishit it. It was yeah, really nice on, on the arm. Yeah, really flexible, a bit of everything, power control and spin. Um, so yeah, I definitely could see myself using this racket. Yeah, I feel like when I timed it nicely, I got the good sweet connection. But when I didn't time it nicely, it struggled. I felt like I had to really work hard to get the right timing on the ball just to get the sweet connection. It didn't have any leeway at all. If I was slightly off my game, I don't think I would uh, enjoy playing with it at all. I just felt like if I wasn't timing it nice and it wasn't coming out the centre of the racket, the ball wasn't really doing what I wanted it to do, getting that power, getting the depth. Absolutely, yeah. I would say it's, it feels like you can work the ball as much as you want despite it being light. It, I, I got more from it than I thought I would do. I would happily play with this actually, it was, it was really nice to play with, really good fun. Yeah, I think it looks really nice, it's the sort of classic Wilson colours which is always nice and has a really nice matte finish, so yeah, it was something that I like the look of, yeah, definitely. I love the orange, you can't go wrong with having orange on it, uh, or pink or whatever you want to call it, and also I like the matte design, I feel like um, it's not going to chip quite so badly, it feels like it's going to stay looking pristine a bit longer. Yeah, really cool, especially this bit at the top. It just sort of gives it its own brand, you know, compared to the other Wilson rackets. So I think it looks really cool. Yes, I would, yeah, I'd quite like to buy one of these, actually. <laughs> yeah, I think that's fair. I think if it's a racket that you like, you're going to pay £200 for it. Personally, I probably wouldn't. I'd find something else. But if it's something that you like, you like the the look of it and you like how it plays, I feel like £200 is a fair price. Yeah, definitely, considering the price of the racket nowadays, I think this is definitely a great option for, you know, a bit of, if you're looking for a little bit of everything in a racket. <laughs>